It's human nature to be fascinated by blood. People talk about the heart, the blood, and the soul when they're talking about life. And it's especially devastating for patients to think that their own blood has turned against them when they develop a disease like leukemia. Blood gone bad. I think of hematology as finding out why blood went bad and trying to get those blood cells back doing what they're supposed to do. The City of Hope Bone Marrow Transplant Program began in 1976. There were three physicians, 10 nurses, and a three-bed unit. In that first year, they transplanted six patients. We were the emergency room docs of oncology 24-7. We were a very small club of people all with the same goal, to cure disorders of the bone marrow and the immune system. What we were doing then was taking cells from a donor and put them into a recipient. Back in those days, the whole thing was miraculous to me. You take a person and give them such intensive therapy that it wipes out their whole immune system and their, all their blood system, and you put this little bag of what looks like blood into them, and then we wait. There was tremendous excitement, and we really didn't know where this was going. The history of transplant after that was the science evolving to understand how we could harness the power of the donor immune system, and in so doing, rely on that and not the intensive chemotherapy to cure the disease. And that led to the concept of CAR T cell therapy. What that involves is taking the T cells out of the recipient and then out of the body, engineering them so they recognize the abnormal protein on the tumor, and then having that T cell attack the tumor. Very similar to what it was like in transplant back in the 70s and 80s, where we were boldly there at the beginning. It's the case for CAR T cells too. We were boldly there at the beginning. Our first CAR T product was infused in 2000. And in the last calendar year, we did 182 CAR T cell infusions. And of those, 100 were in patients who were on trials of products that were developed right here at City of Hope. Magic is happening in the clinic with the patient in a re really resistant cancer. Being able to talk with patients who have come to you after multiple different treatments have not worked, and to be able to tell them, I have something that might work. In a transplant patient, seeing a lot of cancer and then seeing no cancer. Same thing in a CAR T cell patient where you've got a scan that's just loaded with disease. And then a scan 30 days later, looks like a completely different person. That's one of those moments of confirmation that what you did was both right and good. City of Hope has understood that this is the future. And so we have many ongoing clinical trials using CAR T cells in completely new ways that most places around the country or around the world haven't, you know, haven't even gotten to yet. With CAR T cells, we're trying to find a cure for good. The more exciting trials we have and the more patients we treat and actually cure and they do well, like that's more impetus for us to keep going and finding better and better treatments. You know, one of the things that I'm really excited about is not just proving that CAR T cells can be effective, but completely upending the paradigm of how we treat cancer. We're honestly changing the natural history of these diseases. Where do I want it to go? I want it to go not as a therapy of last resort, but a therapy of first resort for certain diseases to make CAR T cell therapy one of the first things you do for a patient to try to cure it and cure it quickly. Very much like we did with stem cell transplant beginning 45 years ago.